Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and since I showed off one of my new games that's almost done, should be done any day, I've had a ton of emails asking for the system for the memory game. So here it is, it's a template I'm going to be selling um, and I'm going to run it down real quickly. Um, we're going to hit home here. Now I have all the cards laid out and um, this is all geared toward by attributes. It's just really cool. Um, right now, I have it set to 16 cards. So I'm going to hit preview here. Now watch how fast this deals. Perfect. Um, and that's for 16 cards. You can hit back, go into attributes, and you can also have 24 cards. And one more, you can have 36 cards. So I'm going to go into 36. Hit preview. And um, my method for randomizing the cards, shuffling and dealing, is flawless. It's fast and uh, it's it's unbelievable. Um, it's pretty much the best you can do without tables and arrays, and uh, you won't have any problems with this. On the side here, I have some things to show you attributes. Um, as you can see up here, cards gone equals zero. This is what you're going to use to trigger um, when the round is over. So how do you know all the cards are gone? Well, um, when you get a pair, now there's two cards gone. So when 36 cards are gone, you can say round is over. Um, or redeal or whatever it is you want to do. Um, when you get one wrong, they just flip back over. Now I have an attribute where you can turn these numbers on and off. Um, so, I mean, I use this for testing purposes, so when I'm testing I, I can see, alright, 15's here and uh, 15's right here, boom, we got a match. And um, as you can see, players equals one, whose turn is zero. Whose turn is zero? Zero is player one. Um, and as you can see, when I get one wrong, it's still player one. But when I hit back, go into attributes, and I can say now we're going to play with two players. So I'll hit preview. Hit start. So it's still it's player one's turn. He gets it right, it's still his turn. When he gets it wrong, it switches to the next player. And so now it's player one's turn. And if he gets it wrong, or sorry, it was player two. Now he gets it wrong, it's back to player one. And he gets it wrong, it's back to player two. So this way you can say if player equals zero, the points go to him. If player equals one, the points go to him. Um, now one thing I have is a location manager. Um, that is this actor right here. Might take a second to open, here we go. And this basically says, you know, if location equals one, that's where the card goes. If it equals two, that's where the card goes. So that's what lays out the cards. Now. I didn't go ahead and um, adjust this for 16 and 24 cards because I don't know where you're going to want the cards to be. You may build your game so you know the cards are off to the left hand side or the right hand side or the top or the bottom. So it's very easy to edit. You just go into the location manager and you figure out the X and Y position of your cards and that's where the cards will be dealt when it's time to deal. So you can say if cards equal 16 use this location manager. If cards equal 24 use this you know or if cards equal 36 use this. Whatever it is you want to do it's very easy to edit. Um, one thing to know about this template is um, you do not get the art or the sounds with it. When you get it it's going to be totally generic art. Um, you'll have to do all that yourself I'm only selling the system here, um, the the right and wrong matches, the, the dealing, the shuffling, um, I'm not selling the art as my game will be released any day now, um, so um, I'm going to blow this template out at a pretty good price, uh, if you're interested head over, over to gshelper.com, there's a uh, buy it now link there, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.